วันนี้เราได้ดับพักพรที่จะนําเสนอบรรยายธรรมที่ลึกซึ้งเรื่องหนึ่งชื่อจดจดแต่เพียงพระเจ้ารายการรู้แจ้งเป็นภาษาอังกฤษในวันที่5กรกฎาคมคิดสักราช2013ในฝรั่งเศสผู้ไม่เคยเห็นฉันอ๋อโอเคแล้วคุณสามารถใช่ไหมฉันรู้สึกดีที่คุณมาแล้วใครไม่มาที่นี่รีบแสดงหน้าขอบคุณใครไม่มาทุกคนบอกฉันโอเคเราไม่ได้ทำงานกันมาเลยใช่ไหมโอเค Listen. This time we must meditate well, okay? To profit maximum, okay? From whatever I have got from heaven for you, just eat it up, okay? Don't talk nonsense. Don't chat around. Always concentrate, okay? Then you get the maximum benefit to come home with. All right? That's the best thing, you know. Even if I, you ask me question, I answer you. Is is also just the mind, just the intellectual level, or curiosity, It has nothing <laughs> much to do with uh, the blessing and your spiritual level. Yes, the higher you go, the less question. So, get high, okay? <laughs> Don't tell people they think we're doing drugs or something. <laughs> We just high five, yeah. <laughs> If you really concentrate well, you will see instant benefit. Yes. Number, even if I'm not here, for example, I left you, okay, because I couldn't come or I couldn't stay long. At least for 20 days, the power, energy, is still here for you, okay. It is in the world all over, of course, but uh, it's more concentrate where the office is, no? This is a nice office, no? Yeah, <laughs> I just paint it. <laughs> I just paint it. <laughs> okay, so uh, please try to concentrate. All right? I'm not strict on you. I'm not dictating you what to do. I'm just telling you what's best. Okay, and then try to uh, remember that, huh? It's nice to see each other now and then. If you have to talk, okay, fine. But uh, minimum, okay, minimum. The less the better. Huh? This time must profit. Okay. No more chitty chatty. No more asking nonsense. No more all kind of mundane stuff. Seek you first the kingdom of God, and everything shall be given unto you. It is like that. It happened to me. So it would also happen to you. I don't lie to you. I tell you all the truth. Okay. <laughs> right. So if anybody feel like itchy, she want to ask something. <laughs> Please think twice. Yeah. <laughs> think before you ask whether it's really important or not. Yeah. Before I also have a thousand questions, but uh, I found out that. Uh, <laughs> The more I ask, the the less satisfied. Yes. Then once you concentrate more inside, then all the answers just come, or you don't feel like the need to to ask anything, or to even listen to anything, because you will know everything. You know that, yeah? This is really fantastic. It is really like that. Seek you first the kingdom of God. Concentrate inside. Really long for God. Then everything in your life will be okay. Will be okay. Yes. Don't ask me again if you can make love to your partner. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you do what you do. Okay. <laughs> Even if I say not okay, you do it anyway. So why ask me? Huh? <laughs> can I even stop you? Anything? <laughs> Just moderate. Okay. The more you long for God, the less you want anything in this world. And the more you're happy, yes. Sell your possession if you have to. If you have too much, if you have a big house, get a smaller house. Leave the bigger house, big house for somebody else who need it. You know, some bigger family, or bigger company, bigger clan. 
You one or two people don't need four or five bedrooms, for example. Huh? Uh, a couple, just a couple, you know, no children. I mean, a one bed, two bath is fantastic already, really. You'll be very happy because you don't have a lot of time wasted to clean in it. Worrying about the dusty shelves and, you know, dirty floor and anything. Very happy, happy to have a smaller house and less possession, yes, okay? I'm not talking to you because I don't do it, I do it. It just don't look at my clothes, okay? They already prepare hundreds of them in there and <laughs> I'm not going to the Chinese shop to buy any more just to wear, just to prove that I'm a simple person. <laughs> Otherwise, I really love to have just simple clothes. I don't feel very comfortable in, uh, in uh, official clothes, but okay, doesn't matter that much. At home, I like uh, simple, very simple, uh, gray color stuff, I love those things. Yes, I have them too. I have them too. But uh, here, you know, because whenever I come or go, I need a lot of, uh, uh, I, I, I need a lot of things, you know. Many telephones, many charger, <laughs> many different uh, cards, you know, recharging cards and and uh, all things to work, you know. Even my diary weighed a ton already, <laughs> so I can't afford to take a lot of clothes with me, even comfortable clothes that I want. So I just come as, as is, yeah? So I'm glad that here we have clothes already, so I don't have to bring. If don't have, then I just just have to go and buy. I can't take with me all the time because I have to move fast, okay? So I don't think I'm preaching to you, uh, but I'm not doing the same and wearing all these clothes. I don't need to anymore. Before I used to have to because for making <laughs> profit. Now I think uh, I retired and simple clothes we do, yeah? And mostly if I can have a cave or a small wood house, two by two, three by three, I'll be happy already, yeah? Really, I'm more happy in that way. Uh, the bigger house, you, you, it's, uh, it feels so cold, even in warmer climate, you know? It feels like, uh, what for? Because <laughs> all I need is just a corner to sit, yeah? Maximum is just a bed size and then to stretch it out. So it feel like a waste of space, you know? a lot of waste of space and a lot of cleaning to do. But here, uh, I, some people help me to clean the house, thank God, otherwise I, I don't like it, <laughs> I don't like cleaning anymore. I do clean because of dogs, but uh, the smaller the house, the better. Hmm? Even uh, when I live in a cave, you know, two meter by two meter and another extra outside, uh, the dogs and I happy, <laughs> a little yard in the front. Really, we're very happy like that. I don't know why. Do you have small house? Anybody here have very small house, a two by two, three by three? <laughs> no, or four by four, maybe? No? No, I just want to ask you if you're happy in it. Don't have? Or a big house? So I'm talking to my own elbow, no? Nah? Hello, <laughs> you happy? <laughs> okay, never mind. If you're happy in your big house, it's okay then, yeah? I just have my own experience that the bigger the house, the less I'm happy. When I was married, we also have a small house, no? like uh, how many rooms? One bedroom, one little office, and one living room. A kitchen, of course. That's, uh, that is small, eh? for German standard, right? But it was very fine. Uh, it's big, big enough, yes. Now I really prefer a small house, Yeah, if I can have it. Okay, guys, so thanks for everything, huh? Cleaning the house, huh? All right, so you need some cakes, yeah, and candy, and then we can have a happy ending. <laughs> also, there are new people downstairs, you know? Yeah. When I ask where the main, uh, the main point is, downstairs or upstairs, they say, downstairs, downstairs. <laughs> but because uh, the people still come in and out downstairs, so I came up to see you. Hmm? Can you please pass me the goodies? Wow, there's a big one here.
we don't have to buy a lot of expensive things and we don't have to eat too much here. Huh? Make it more simple so that we can have uh, more meditation. Okay? Yeah. I told them just make it simple. Yeah. Maybe uh, one or two types of, of things, but a lot, and everybody can eat it. No need to cook so many stuff. So buying a lot of stuff. <laughs> You don't come here to eat, really, or do you? Maybe you do. <laughs> See? No. See or no? <laughs> See or no? No? No, of course not. So uh, maybe we don't have to cook even. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> you bring your own sandwich and you don't have to pay anything. Just come and eat. <laughs> eat your sandwich. A sandwich can last for seven days or not? No? Doesn't? No. Too old? Too hot? Uh huh. Here is a hot climate. In Canada, maybe, yeah? <laughs> Canada can last for seven months. <laughs> Just put, put outside window, eh? <laughs> outside your tent, eh? <laughs> and eat one at a time, you know? <laughs> put it inside to warm it up, to thaw it, and then, and then eat it. And then tomorrow, another one, huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, no matter how we eat now or what kind of situation we are in, we are still much more uh, fortunate than the kings of old. Eh? The kings of old, they don't have car like we do. Uh, going with a horse carriage, oh, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> I went before, oh, it hurt <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> and uh, if it's a long ride, you know. Uh, you know, sometimes you see people riding on the horse, like the cowboy and all that in the film, it looks so romantic and... And, and, you know, very, uh, very uh, a lot of fun, eh? Oh, it hurt. Uh, it's not so fun like that, you know what I mean? Not all that fun. It hurt. Like those sport car, it's very hard. Hard on the back, huh? Yeah. So nowadays we have car. Even the worst of the car, the cheapest car we have now, is still better than the horse car in the old time. Yes? And now we have glass windows and... Uh, you say mosquito net and all that in old time, they don't have. Everything is uh, plastic with paper or just blank wood, you know, like prisoner. It's all dark inside. Palaces and all that is all dark and miserable. Yeah, really. We are very lucky nowadays. Huh? And uh, the vegetable is always fresh around. Huh? So it's good. We eat simple, it's fine. Even if we don't have any so-called ready-made protein, there are plenty in beans, yeah? Beans and salad, tomato, they all have protein, more or less, okay? Really, uh, maybe eat simple so that you don't have to pay a lot, number one, because uh, money is hard to earn nowadays, yeah? And you can use it if you have extra. Number one, number two, uh, eat less... Uh, Less uh, hard to digest things, it's easier to meditate, all right? And if they're starving, then we know. Yeah. <laughs> no food, master, no food. Cannot concentrate. Think of noodle all day long. <laughs> baguette, baguette. <laughs> noodle, noodle. <laughs> apple, apple. <laughs> It's also a kind of meditation, you know, <laughs> harmless. <laughs> okay, good. But uh, I eat with the kitchen with you anyway, it's easy. Okay, I don't want you to spend too much money coming to see me. I can't, I'm sorry, I cannot even buy all the airplane tickets for you because you're too many. You multiply so quick <laughs> also. <laughs> also, but otherwise, you know, I, I wish I, I could even uh, pay all the food and everything for you. But like that, I'll be working all day, all night, and I won't have time to see you either, <laughs> just to earn money. <laughs> Children grow so fast and so big, 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 <laughs> eat a lot, <laughs> candies and all. <laughs> okay, so big and still want candy. Ah, uh, you know, because I don't really want you to spend a lot of money here. And if you don't have, you know already, don't pay nothing. Nobody asks question why, understand? If you don't want to pay, also okay too. <laughs> but it's nice to, to keep your dignity and be independent. That's all. All right? Yeah. Mostly the temple, they don't take money from people, but they have, they have their own people to cook it. I, I don't have. 
Okay, you come, you put money together, you cook. If it is good taste, then you eat because you cook it. If it's bad, then also it's your fault. You cook it. <laughs> we we don't have a permanent staff here. You know that, right? As your brother and sister, the volunteer, they came here. They take turn to come here, and only a small number. Nah? Normally, two three people here to take care of the uh, administrative. Yeah, take the phone, clean up the yard. That's it. And uh, therefore, um, whatever you do is is your business. Nah? Okay. Yes. All right. And since uh, I am here, and because you cook, you always give it to me anyway. So okay, I just pay together. It's more simple like that. Otherwise, I could cook for myself. Mostly I do that. Even if I have an assistant, I prefer to cook for myself. One day they cook at 12, another time they cook at 4, and then I'm just not used to it. It's better oh, I cook when I feel hungry, yeah? I want to have a break, you know, I want to have a little uh, change of, uh, of my routine. I sit in all day, you know, get up, walk around, exercise a little bit, cook, and then... Uh, you know, clean the house. <laughs> okay, I go downstairs now. Uh, candy is for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> I'll be around, okay? Uh, listen, e- even if I'm not here, I probably stretch out in my house or something. And then uh, you still meditate, it's, the energy is still all over. Got it, yeah? Yes. No need touchy, feely, nothing anymore. Looky, looky only, yeah? Looky, looky, feely, feely only. <laughs> Love you very much. I can throw. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, guys, such a long way, and I really appreciate your love. You really want to see me that much? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, That's why I also break the retreat to come to see you. Korean, all Korean? Taiwan? Taiwan, Korea. (laughs) Okay. Vietnam. <cười> ok, chào đồng chí, mấy đồng chí mình giỏi ha. Đồng chí ở Mỹ qua ha. Mấy đồng chí ở Mỹ hay ở Việt Nam vậy? 
Mỹ và Đức hả? Nhiều nước hả? Bây giờ Việt Nam đi nhiều chỗ hả? Ta cho hậu You right, Korea? I forgot that how how are you? I forgot again. Anh nhớ chưa? Cảm ơn Mita. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much, very much. Because you have to spend money on airplane and you have to uh, take a day off, yeah, and and trust your family to someone else in order to come here. It's such a long way. Many of you, it's a long way. Korea, China, Taiwan, or other countries, yeah? Far, far away. And you're happy if you see me, really? Yes. All right. Um, during these two months, if uh, anyone uh, needs uh, initiation, can come here and we give initiation here. Yeah? Tell them, huh? First, we try two months, yeah? And then, if okay, maybe we continue. Hmm? But two months is uh, good enough, right? For everybody to come, I hope. For China, I'm not sure. Okay, okay. 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 Uh, okay, anything you want to ask me? Huh? No. 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 <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> you won't die. <laughs> you will live. <laughs> I survive. <laughs> you survive. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just I want you to concentrate at least one time, okay? Before every retreat, everybody asks all kinds of questions, and sometimes it's not good question and wasting everybody else's time. Yeah, bringing, bringing mundane atmosphere into our energy field. So this time I want you to just concentrate to remember God, to want to be with God, want to know God more, deeper and deeper level. Huh? And uh, everything else, uh, God takes care. If He doesn't, then we come back, we take care. Hmm? <laughs> because if everyone concentrates on one thing, then the power is more strong, is stronger and uh, more benefit to you all, okay? Otherwise, we come here and we don't concentrate on one, on God, and we're just thinking of family or mundane things or, you know, uh, sickness and health and uh, money and all that. It's, it's uh, kind of diverting your attention to this lower level instead of going up, yes? The more you go up, the more benefit, the stronger you will feel later, even to come home and deal with all this mundane problem. Yeah? So this time really concentrate, okay? Concentrate only on God, enlightenment, deeper level of consciousness and happiness. Because the deeper you go, the more you're happy, the more enlightened, and the more intelligent, the more... Uh, blissful, and then you can deal with all kinds of problems, if, if any problem. Otherwise, we just concentrate on problem. Then we are right at the problem level, and we could never see it better from above. Then not only you cannot solve this problem, you delay your own spiritual progress and deny yourself of spiritual power then you lose both. You lose the uh, problem-solving solution and you lose spiritual elevation. Okay. So I'm not strict this time. 
but I'm really strict. Okay? Watch it. Huh? <laughs> Just concentrate on taking power. Okay? I was bringing it all down here, maximum possible, to this level of uh, material existence. And you guys must concentrate to take it. Okay? Must take it. The money is in the bank, but you have to go get it. Okay? You have to want to get it. Uh, the water is in the shower, you go take shower. Understand? Okay? Concentrate this time. In this two months period, uh, no matter how long you stay, should concentrate on only God's power. Then you feel a different, you feel a big difference after you, you stay here for a while, okay? Some people feel different immediately already. Some people take a little time, but you will feel different. If all you want is spiritual upliftment, then you, that's you will get. All right, please? <laughs> uh, if you have spiritual question, of course you can ask me. Huh? Okay then, we meditate. Huh? Even if I don't meditate with you, I'm just around. Okay? And very near. Okay? Yes. And even if I'm not here, I told you already, the energy, is, the, the strongest energy is still here for 20 days. Of course, it still always be here, but not as concentrate. That's all. So when you are here, please make use of that and benefit from that. And, that's, and that will please me, please me very much. And that will be the best for you. Hmm? Better than candies and kitchen cooking, anything. Better than looking at me. Okay. All right. Looking at me also good, yeah? <laughs> or not? <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't have come here all this way, right? Yes. Everything you can benefit from looking at me or thinking of me. It's not this me physical, yeah? The master power. Okay? All right. If no question, then we meditate, huh? Okay? Good. Newcomer comes to Mama. <laughs> yes, newcomer, welcome, welcome. Where from? From Poland. Poland, yes. Poland, how many Poland here? Big group, huh? Oh, wow, wow, wow. And you? From crying, yeah? <laughs> from crying country. <laughs> how are you guys? Okay, the new one, uh, come here, huh? New one from downstairs can also come up here. Please help me with the basket. The new new one who has not seen me yesterday, just come, you know, come here. Help me up a little bit. Here, baby, here. Yeah, because your mama is old now. <laughs> come Oh, so many. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> here. Just symbolic of love, the sweet love, okay? And the, the men are little, so I take care of them first. <laughs> and you too, many. <laughs> come, baby, come. Mm. And this is the best part of the whole retreat, I know. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> you look a little older. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, here come baby. What's your name? Otto. Otto. <laughs> nice to meet you, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come. Here. Oh, I thought men a little, but they're not. <laughs> a lot. Come, come, and I love you so much. Difficult for men to practice, you know? In the Buddha time was different. 
Buddha time, he forbid women to come, uh, to become uh, monks and nuns. But they are not monks, so they're okay, huh? <laughs> yes, yeah, you are. Welcome. Mm. Manta, huh? Everything okay? <laughs> you still single or have new wife? Oh, oh my. <laughs> what a pity. He has a beautiful wife, but he's too saintly and she left him. <laughs> Don't be too saintly, Manta. <laughs> Women don't really like saints. Ah, they like something else like this. <laughs> they like sugar. <laughs> if you can take some, it's good, yeah? If you can take some more, I'll wait there, okay? Oh, man. No, I, I had a little pain with this little hand. Mm. So, uh, now, like this. Oh, are you all right? Maybe uh, you sit comfortable and, and wait. Don't, don't squeeze like this. You will hurt your knees. And, and uh, after I finish with all these mongoose, <laughs> I will call you up. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't that be better? Yes. Yes. Okay, then go back with to sit, come. <laughs> so you don't understand nothing, just yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so sorry. If I know this, we would have done it outside. It's cooler, hey? How about all the air gone? Hello, my love. Air gone not working, huh? You feel hot? Okay. Oh, I'm trying to pick something nice, but this <laughs> it's not for me. Uh, I mean, you guys. I, I feel okay because I just uh, take a little fresh uh, cold water, quickie, quickie wash. <laughs> yeah, you are. But downstairs, very cool, huh? You know, well, here yeah, you are, baby. Who told you to come so many? I mean, <laughs> you have two months, you could have waited, and, you know, like, like come later, no? So that we don't have to squeeze like this. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. Oh, my God, where from all of you? <laughs> Can you even go back? <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, listen, um, I think all of these people, we go outside in the yard. I give you all the candies and we come back. How about that? Okay. Otherwise, it's too inconvenient for everybody, too hot and squeezy and you can't even walk. You walk on top of that blonde guy and he will have no more hair left. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone keep walking on you, <laughs> you two, Buddha, <laughs> three Buddha. Okay, now, I, I, because it's impossible like this, huh? You can't even go back. Okay, let's go from the back, go down, garden, front, wait for me, okay? Go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my God. What a master, has no money but a lot of children. Cha. I mean, have money, but don't have room. You can't even buy it. Europe is small and... Uh, it's okay? Yes. Yes. Better small place and uh, many people than big place and empty. Yeah? Uh, uh, I come back. I promise. Uh, just for your coolness, no? Maybe we open window, would it be cooler? Okay, then open window. <laughs> I'll 
All right, guys. Uh, I don't know why year after year you keep wanting to see the same woman. <laughs> And and you're happy about it, yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't that strange? Huh? <laughs> there were six, seven billion people in the world, and you always come again and again to see one, one person. <laughs> no wonder I have trouble. Other people are so jealous, yeah, <laughs> so jealous. <laughs> yes. Okay. Had you have a good trip? No yes. one. Oh. I today I look from my office on the other side and look at you walking around or meditating. I feel oh, so touched. <laughs> Came such a long way just to see me. Yeah, enduring all the heat and the traffic jam and the tight seats in the airplane and everything. Thank you, huh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm really touched by your love. Maybe that's why I had to come, no? I'll break the retreat for you. But it's okay. I can afford it now. I can afford it for a while. Yeah? <laughs> so, um, how are things at home? Good. Good? Better? Better all the time? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. Any good news? <laughs> Why laughing? Yes. A lot, huh? Yes. Like what? Like your husband came back and <laughs> <laughs> and your wife divorced you, something like that? Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, just now we were rushing up. I remember the joke, you know, because there was a the joke somewhere like uh, it's a sale, you know, the season sales, fifty percent, seventy percent reduced. So everybody rushed, you know, and standing queue for from four o'clock in the morning already. Everybody standing queue for long, long queue, you know, and anxious waiting for the door of the supermarket to open so that they can go and grab the best thing that they, they want before everybody else. And then suddenly there's a, you know, uh, noise behind and the guy, was a one old man, keeps saying, please let me through, let me through. And they don't. They just say, you wait in queue like everybody else or we will give it to you. <laughs> And he said, let me in, please, let me in first. I have to go to the front. And he tried very hard. He's a small and choppy and <laughs> sweet-looking guy. And nobody care. They push him back all the time. And then finally he said, that's it. I'm not going to open the store for you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just now I also fight <laughs> to come up. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So, um, you meditate better recently, or is the same? Do you feel any improvement? Yes. 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 Some of you do. Yes. Oh. In which way? More calm. More calm. Yeah. Okay. The others. Powerful. More powerful. <laughs> cool. Mine started uh, before I came here, maybe one day. One week before you come here? Yes, it's so strong. Very strong. Okay, okay. Why you wait until one week before you come here <laughs> <laughs> to, to have such strong experience? You guys have to be more aware of the power that is brought down onto this planet. I mean, really physically. Because if you don't listen, you don't focus on it, then you might also ignore it, you know, and you don't have much uh, profit. You have to be aware. I also have to be aware, yes? Uh, for example, if I'm too busy or doing other stuff, uh, then I also don't see the next level. 
Yeah, so I have to always be alert, yes. Oh, I cannot imagine. Because once you are aware, sometimes you jump from zero to millions, you know, a spiritual point just like that, like fast car, you know. They say from zero to 60, you know, yeah, two seconds or four seconds. That means very fast. But you you have to have that car, yeah, and you have to know what it is and you have to be in control of the car, otherwise too fast also no good. Um, really, you have to be aware that the world is changing and you have to notice, take note that things are getting always better, yeah, okay, despite, despite the appearance of the outer show of the world that things are not in order there, not in order here, but really it's going to be good, going to be better. And, and no matter what, you always tune in, okay? Tune in to the beautiful, powerful uh, energy, yes. Because once you're aware of that level, then you will go higher and higher. Because you cannot go higher until you, you assimilate the lower one. Sometimes <laughs> I'm also in a hurry, you know, like, uh, for example, I sitting in probably, okay, 112 level, for example, yeah? And then the next, just the next minute, I realize that there's somewhere else I could get millions a percentage, you know, like 100 percentage here or 120, and then in the next minute, I know in another uh Location, I will get like millions of spiritual points or spiritual power, percentage of power. Then I was sometimes angry. <laughs> I said, why didn't you tell me in the first place so that I don't have to sit here? <laughs> no, but it's not like that. I, Of course, I'm impatient, you know, but it, it, you can't do that because the body it has to be also tough enough to get to the higher level. It's truly like that. So even sometimes I'm very uh, frustrated and feeling impatient, but I have to, I just have to take it because um, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work like you can jump from zero to one million. No, you, you would think maybe I'm impatient, but it's not like that because sometimes I sit here and I get 100%, for example, power of spiritual power or divine connection power. But in order to go to the next level, I have to drive far. And then just for just a few or uh, the next hours, okay, <laughs> I go back. Then that's why I get angry. <laughs> Not really angry, but I say, why? Why don't you just tell me before? And then I don't have to travel all this way, but I have to. I have to. Because uh, the, the, the next step is over there not over here. Once I've done the next step, then I can come back to the higher steps here. It sounds complicated, no? No. No, it's not? Wow, you're, um, <laughs> you're better than me. <laughs> yeah, it's like that, and I get used to it already, but sometimes I'm tired, of course, and I complain, you know. You know, I'm 60-some already. Don't tell everybody else. <laughs> And sometimes the body complain, eh? also the karma and all kind of things. Traveling is not my cup of tea. Eh? I'm a very home, homey person. I like to sit in front of fireplace like a cat. Yeah, enjoy my tea or whatever at home. I don't like go out too much. Even when I was young already, when I was young, I was just twenty or something. I don't, don't, don't tell me how old I am now, huh? <laughs> I went to Italy, for example, to visit a, a friend. He was an actor. Uh, I don't want to tell his name now. And then he said, how come you're so lazy? Go out and see St. Peter's Square, go out and see the Vatican, and go out and see, why don't you go out? <laughs> I said, okay, okay, I go later. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't seen the Vatican at that time, and I haven't seen the whole Italy. I just, I just didn't feel that interested. A lot of people, they pay a lot of money to go on holiday so that they go and see this and that museum and that and this wonder of the world. 
I also go because I had to go. In my time, uh, every year, you have to go on holiday one month and the boss paid. <laughs> you have to go. <laughs> you can't just work 12 months a year and say to the boss, never mind, I don't mind, I just work and you don't need to pay for me one month extra to go on holiday. You had to. It's the law. So I just went, you know, like everybody else, August or September, it's holiday time, must pack and go. That's it. <laughs> and not because I'm really interested on things. But when I was in India, I was interested to see this and that. I see Jesus' tomb, for example, then I'm eager to go. Or I see this and that master who lives for hundreds of years, and I'm eager to go. Or see this and that Mataji who who doesn't eat anything, then I'm eager to go. Ah, oh, I go to see some of the yogi who can walk on the water. Okay, then I go and have a look. <laughs> for example, like that. Um, just to go looking for masters, I walk sometimes hours on ends or days in different, very uh, wet and cold and freezing condition or heat very hot sometimes that I, I got stroke. Yeah, one time I was very sick. So many mosquitoes and uh, I don't know, was, I was really sick. I could not even walk for many days and I had to stay in. I just happened to go to uh, passing by Benares, you know, where the Buddha was having uh, historical uh, lectures there. Yes. And then I was very sick. And then I went to Bodh Gaya, have a look, and I, I came back very sick. Lucky there is a temple, and there was one Buddhist monk, he's Tibetan Buddhist monk, but he is vegetarian. Yes, he didn't have much to eat, but he offered me whatever he has. I was so kind, and he saw that I have fever. I said, oh my God, he said, my God, fever, fever. Oh, you have to have to go in the shade. And then he, he put me in, in his bed, and he put the, like the mosquito net, but it, it's like a ten, you know, just a, <laughs> just put on top of the bed like that. You don't have to have hanging or anything. It's like those things that uh, you have net, and then you cover for the flies, so the flies don't come to your fruit. Yeah, but it's just bigger, you know. <laughs> and he <laughs> he scooped me up in there, and then he makes soup for me, and then oh, it was so nice. Later on, when I was in Taiwan, I kept sending him vegetarian food, the dry things, you know, for a while. And then I have to keep going somewhere and then do many things, and then uh, I didn't do it. But he, he wouldn't be short of anything. He looks healthy and fine with very little vegetarian food that he has. In India, you <laughs> surprised you don't have vegetarian protein. I'm sorry, just these are dry uh, soya cubes or some something like that. Otherwise, you just eat vegetable, ne? vegetable and dye. Dye also has a lot of protein. You know, these mung beans, yellow beans, that's dry beans, and they cook like a soup, that's it. And he looks healthy, though. He's so kind, he's so kind, yes. And then in Bodh Gaya, I, I can't believe it. Uh... You think Indian, you, easy to find vegetarian, it's not like that. In India, I have only this dry soya texture all the time. That's all I have for vegetarian food. The rest, of course, vegetable, eh? and beans and dal stuff. Um, I, in Burgaya, I was really also very sick because of the heat. The heat was so intense that even if you're healthy, you couldn't walk. I didn't know that. I didn't know all the Indians don't walk at lunch. I mean, at midday. No wonder I couldn't find anybody to ask for direction. <laughs> I just walk and walk and I couldn't walk. It's like you're walking uphill, you know, like 90 degree up. That's the feeling when you walk on the flat street in that kind of heat. I was stupid, you know. I was uh, so eager to look for enlightenment, that I go anywhere, I do anything. Now, thinking backward, I was really silly. I could have got myself killed by being a lone woman in India, number one. Number two, walking in the heat like that. 
And number three, also walking in the Himalaya mountain with ice and, and, and wet uh, ice that melt in my shoes. You know, I have just uh, those sport shoes uh, made with uh, cloth, yeah? Sport shoes. And then the ice soaked inside <laughs> my feet. So cold, <laughs> my toe couldn't move. Yeah, I was that stupid, hey? Don't ever do that, okay? I'm telling you this so that you don't do this kind of thing. You just come to Master Ching Hai, get enlightenment, simple, quick. <laughs> because you could get yourself killed. But these uh, glaciers, you know, they're very slippery. And the mountain roads sometimes, they're not so flat. And it's covered with ice. And if you just slip, your your your, sh- because some some roads are very narrow, you know. If you just slip your 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 shoes down, and you're done. Or or maybe you just are walking on the mountain road and a landslide all the time, and you never know when it comes. Well, I I I was uh, oblivious to all this. <laughs> I didn't think about all that. Now you pay me a lot of money, tell me to go back there, do the same thing. I say, thank you, keep your money. <laughs> yes. Uh, what I told you is not the half of the effort, because telling is not like you're doing it, you know? Mm. Like when you see in the movies, yeah, sometimes uh, in a very uh, adventurous uh, scenery, yeah? It looks so cool and romantic. It's not like the, the, the actor has to do very hard work. Stun man or stun woman, or sometimes they die because the scene is so dangerous. So uh, talking and looking is not the same as you doing it yourself. It's really hard <laughs> walking around like that and sometimes scary in the dark, you know, alone. And over there they uh, have uh, some snakes and scorpions and centipedes everywhere. And even in some area you rent a little mud house, very small, but a lot of uh, little insects in it. Yeah. And then one time my, my sleeping bag will f- became like a whole supermarket for these little insects. <laughs> they nest in there. Because so warm, you know. <laughs> then when I come out, oh my God, <laughs> a lot, a lot of them. And they, uh, they cover me up everywhere. <laughs> This is not all that uh, romantic, the way it looks, huh? Walking in the Himalaya with just a staff and two uh, Punjabi clothes, you know, like the tunic kind of uh, clothes that they call it Punjabi. They cover your knees and the trousers under, just to be decent in India. And then with a the staff, you know, yeah, walk alone looking for master. <laughs> Long road flowing in the cold air of the Himalaya. <laughs> Sounds very like a movie stuff, no? It's not all that cool. <laughs> it's not all that cool. Because sometimes uh, uh, the weather can change so fast. Like I'm walking home one day, you know, thinking that I could get the, the boat to cross the Ganges River to go back to my hut. The water just suddenly swell up so high that I almost drowned. Yeah, lucky I flew. <laughs> I mean, run. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could fly. <laughs> because in one of the places in Rishikesh, I went into the middle of the Ganges River to meditate. There's a little stone sand island, little one. It's uh, as big as the table and the chair here together. Yes. And when the uh, the tide were down, you see it's harmless. You just jump in, you know, uh, nimbly on the stones, and then you go there and you sit in the cave and meditate. But when the water rushed down so quickly, you don't find the stone anywhere. I almost drowned there. Yeah, when the water is so high, you don't see the island anymore afterward. Not to talk about the stepping stones. Yeah, lucky, I don't know, the angel saved me. I run fast enough. Hmm. So it's not as good as, um, you know, <laughs> it's not like fairy tale, you know, walking alone in the Himalaya.
our focus on God and <laughs> oblivious of everything. <laughs> I wasn't oblivious of everything. I was aware that the water was rushing down and I run fast. <laughs> Especially when you're alone. Né? Nobody there to help you. Nobody there to hold your hand in case you slip from the stone like the guy just helped me right now, the South African gentleman. It's even a, to walk down here the steps, he, he walked in front of me so that I can use him as a, a walking stick. He don't know Himalaya. <laughs> yeah, but thank you. I was younger then, you know? I was younger then. I was almost 30 only, yeah? 28 or 29. But now I, I'm more feeble, you know? More fragile, huh? Yes. I don't feel ill or anything, just more fragile, yes. If I stay in a place a warmer, like, for example, like uh, south of Spain, then I don't feel this kind of ache and pain. But if I come here, it's kind of damp, huh? Even in summer, imagine what kind of summer is this. Uh, when I'm in my cave, I still need to have a little uh, heating pad on, like an electric pillow or something, or two bottles of hot water on both sides. Or where the pain is, yeah. It's already July and I still needed that. Feels a little silly, you know, in the Mediterranean normally it's uh, not. But in my room is cooler than here. Here is so hot. <laughs> here is, I don't feel anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the heat eats it all up, you know. Just feel too hot and then you forget everything else. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know what else I tell you. You tell me something, hmm? Tell me your story and how you feel and how you meditate and how you're happy, how your lives improve. Yeah? Tell me. One by one. <laughs> if I point at you and I count to three, you have to come up with a story. <laughs> one. Okay. One and a half. Okay, good. Tell me, Jean, Jean, Jean. Tell me. How is your husband, huh? He's a very good boy. He lets me come to these things. As usual, what can he do to you? <laughs> you, you are not the woman to let him uh, buy you at home. He knows you. Um, there's a very big chain of um, fruit and vegetable stores in, in North America called Farm Boy. Farm Boy? F Farm Boy. Uh -huh. Yeah, big, 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 big stores. They sell fruit and vegetables. They also sell meat too, but, you know, primarily it's fruits and okay. vegetables. Okay. New? Uh, no, no, it's been around for a while, but what, what is new is they offered uh, last week, a, a couple of weeks ago, a, a vegan tour of their store. Yeah. And they hired a nutritionist, uh -huh. and she went all around the store and pointed out all the vegan products. Uh -huh. And they are expanding a lot in, the, in their vegan products. Uh, I've always just walked by the, uh, the bakery section, right, because yeah, there's yeah. Nothing, nothing I can eat in there. But now they've opened up a whole little vegan bakery section. Oh. And the same with the deli, you know, where they have all the oh, salads. Even bakery. I walked by there before, but now they've opened up a little section of vegetarian vegan, and they've mm. identified which products are vegan, and they even use uh, separate cutting boards to, for this vegetarian vegan oh. section. And on the tour was an older guy, like about my age. <laughs> <laughs> you are not old. And, uh, you look younger a, now than before, <laughs> really. Uh, he was a, a British guy, and all his life he'd had a meat and potatoes diet. All his life, I mean, just never even thought of changing. And then all of a sudden, he said, the last uh, month or so, yeah. he's had just a thought. He said it was literally out of nowhere uh -huh. to become vegan. Ah. So I said, ah, master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why blame me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, uh, if I have more time. We could change the world, but it's okay, let it be. They also have this karma, give and take between animals and human. yes. There's a section in the extreme cosmic region, it's called uh, nutrition reorientation. And if I sit there forever <laughs> and concentrate on all the minds of all these people on this planet, then we can change them to become vegan. But uh, unfortunately, I have many other things, many places to go, and sometimes I have to chase a higher dimension, so I had to leave that uh, part behind. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
besides that one is not it's not a higher level yeah on the fourth level you could influence people's mind already and then you can also influence more on the higher level yeah like uh, eight or nine can do but if uh, well it's okay let it be <laughs> because too many levels too many choice for me yes i was spoiled with choices when when i was up there i mean when my soul was there not that my mind was aware of it uh, the soul has to send like sms down eh? uh, through uh, different uh, f- through my different bodies yeah and my different office and then uh, i can have this experience a virtual virtual experience it's like a uh, Uh, it's like you watch video at home, yeah, but not not actually being here, yeah, okay, yeah. Like sometimes we have internet connection, then you are not with me, uh, but uh, you can see me, like that, okay? Hmm. Because the mind cannot uh, go up to such a high level, not possible. The mind has to be stay at the second level. Hmm? Okay, that good good news. Mm. Ah, now they make all kind of vegan cheese that's uh, more different than the the one I introduced on the TV. The, uh, there was in France, I think they bought me something uh, not square, a little long like this. Tastes so good, my dogs loves it so much that I have to carry it everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> 